For some drivers and conductors at the Odona bus terminal in Accra, enforcing the no mass no entry directive has become a real struggle. Prior to this, they often got into arguments with passengers over trivial issues such as change and the right place to alight. Now there is one more thing, wearing of nose masks. <laughs> The Greater Accra Regional Minister Ismail Ashiti made the wearing of face mask mandatory on April 22, 2020. This meant that public places such as supermarkets, banks and several private organizations must institute a no mask no entry policy the directive also empowered commercial drivers to ensure all passengers wear face masks before boarding their vehicles unfortunately passengers such as this one still refuse to wear their face masks <laughs> i don't get the mask so <laughs> Passengers like these are not alone. Some even justify their blatant refusal to wear the nose mask. But, uh, most, mostly because I don't find it too convenient and with our science background, what we've learned as we're growing up, the, normally the, the body takes in oxygen and brings out carbon dioxide. And so I don't know how long we should keep our nose masks on because we keep ex hailing carbon dioxide and the max is on and and we keep taking in back the carbon dioxide that we emit from the body so i don't know maybe we should do a research into this and know what is the after effect how long can we keep the nose marks on and uh, and uh, how how helpful or harmful is it to the body except we say the the pandemic is airborne if it is not airborne, I don't see why we should put nose masks on. With the increasing numbers of COVID-19 cases in Ghana, the Minister of Health, Kwekwa Jima Menu, has revealed that government is considering a law that will punish recalcitrant trans persons who refuse to adhere to prevention protocols such as the wearing of nose masks in public places. He added that culprits could face up to three months in jail for this. Although passengers and conductors do not always see eye to eye, this they agree on. Because <laughs> Despite the fact that many Ghanaians seem to know about the novel coronavirus, it seems they still struggle to observe the wearing of face masks, especially when they sit in commercial vehicles. Reporting for City News, I am Niyama Ama.